Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Muhammad Afim. I'm working as a, I'm working as AWS Automation Engineer and um, AWS Solution Architect. Today, I'm going to show you how you can uh, deploy the latest uh, service, uh, which is of AWS Client VPN, recently released by AWS. I guess there are no videos uh, with regard to this service. So uh, we are going to deploy this service in Ireland. So let's begin. I've already set up uh, the AWS Client VPN uh, with regard to the Active Directory authentication. If you have uh, Windows on-prem uh, Active Directory, uh, all the authentication um, of the AWS Client uh, users will be done via the Active Directory you guys are using on your premises so today I don't have a uh, you know active directory so uh, I'm going to show you the other way around uh, uh, this uh, is the uh, method which uh, um, in which I'm going to use the uh, self-signed ACMs so First of all, uh, let's go to the uh, certificate manager, and we are going to import that uh, certificate uh, which we will uh, create shortly. Uh, what you have to do is go to my um, um, Git repository and simply copy the scripts. Go to bash scripts, and I will provide uh, my repository link in the video, and you have to copy the script from top to down borders there are certain parameters uh, parameters uh, which I've defined uh, via the variables uh, they are quite easy you will be able to understand those so what I'm going to do uh, I have uh, this is my local uh, Ubuntu Linux machine I'm going to create self and certificate let's create a file sir dot ss you can give any name and what I'm going to do is paste this uh, cert from the top you see I give, give this domain cloudallegiant.com subdomain is VPN and my country is Pakistan uh, location is Lahore Punjab Prince and common name is self science certificate you have to give uh, these parameters just uh, for uh, the sake of uh, you know identity anyway <coughs> this script is uh, pretty easy what we are going to do let's make this script is executable and uh, I'm going to just simply run the script and shortly you will see the um, uh, search uh, will be created in the TLS folder so so as you see I have copied the script uh, now I'm going to run the script and it will create the self signed certificate and it will create in the TLS folder so my domain is uh, cloudelegant.com what I'm going to do is to uh, Sorry, I am going to be in the TLS directory, and what I'm going to do is, is to copy the search for the domain. This is the search for the domain, and simply I'm going to copy that uh, impact import in my uh, certificate manager, and uh, the other is part is the domain key which I'm going to copy which I'm going to import in the ACM as well I guess there are no videos with regard to the AWS client VPN the reason we are creating that it is very useful uh, it uh, give you a, 
the real relief of uh, bastion host or jump server uh, you have to just simply log into your AWS um, uh, AWS VPC and do your work it is all encrypted and it is very secure and uh, one the one of the best thing about the AWS client VPN is that it, it scales automatically uh, you don't have to manage this uh, VPN at the back end they are using the open VPN but this is the managed service by AWS uh, and it is a pay as you go service and it is very very cheap as well so we are going to also import this uh, certificate authority as well okay uh, review and import it will say remember to back up your private keys and uh, this is the domain uh, I have uh, used in my in my script you see uh, this my this is my uh, self signed certificate it has been uh, issued and it is it has been imported now we are going to create the uh, AWS client VPN setup uh, cloud legend You can give uh, any name or let's say dot com or dot VPN. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste here. Um, the uh, size range I'm going to use for this VPN is the minimum is the 22 slash 22 and the maximum you can use uh, with this uh, client VPN is the 18 range. So um, uh, I guess slash 22 is uh, more than enough. You see this is the um, uh, AWS certificate uh, we are going to use. As I said, I don't have uh, Active Directory. So what I'm going to do, to do is simply use this uh, ACM cert which I have generated with self-signed uh, certificate which I have created so I'm not going to use the login and the DNS uh, I'm going to use for this uh, for this PPC is uh, let me show you uh, I'm creating this in my default VPC the CIDR range is I guess 172. Uh, 3131 yes so let's say you can give 172.31.0.2 is the DNS um, uh, entry and one I give just mm, the caching only DNS of the Google so these are the reserved of uh, IP addresses of AWS and uh, dot 2 is the one which they reserve for the DNS so let's create the client VPN after uh, it has been created you have to go to that associations and click on associate and I'm going to associate with this uh, VPC which is the default you can use uh, uh, VPC which um, uh, you are currently working in so uh, I'm going to select this um, uh, subnet as well so uh, this will take about around about five minutes and security groups uh, if uh, I have narrowed down the security group uh, I've created the VPC let me say that I think I've uh, deleted it. <coughs> this is the default security group, and let's say I just want to create one security group with regard to the VPC. So if I go to the EC2 instance uh, for the security purpose I think it is better to show you guys uh, you should um, 
allow port 11 11 9 4 okay so uh, I'm going to create one security group default is there so let's say um, call this uh, let's call this AWS client VPN I have already set up as I told you with regard to the window authentication at Active Directory if you guys uh, if you guys need any help with regard to that I will I will show you how to set that as well it is also very simple the process is almost the same as I'm setting this up but the authentication of that uh, will be with regard to your active directory users so now uh, let me uh, you create one rule as well um, to allow uh, UDP role to uh, allow uh, 1194 all traffic uh, from um, port 1194 which is used by the open VPN and if I go to the security group see um, I've created this and I'm going to just use this one so um, I'll go uh, now we are going to move to the authorization tab and and I'm going to allow all users from the from anywhere you can narrow it down uh, as well uh, okay uh, with regard to your uh, security settings and uh, also I'm going to add a route uh, for the internet uh, means uh, when we connect it to this uh, um, AWS client VPN we should have uh, internet available as well in a way that we can browse the um, any Google or Chrome uh, websites as well so I've added the routes uh, by default the um, cider of that particular VPC is there so you will see shortly uh, we have set up the um, AWS client VPN in Ireland region and now I'm going to download the configuration uh, when you download the configuration you will see uh, it will provide you uh, the certs as certificate authority only so let me open the download configuration of this let's rename this and I'm going to say this is for the cloud legend dot local whatever you want to say that of com by the way this is just a demo setup I'm going to delete this uh, after showing you guys so uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, you see only certificate authority is there so let me show you guys uh, how it works as well for windows you should have uh, this open uh, vpn gui software i'm going to open this software you see and this is the software now i'm going to import uh, this file and it will uh, give an error let me show you guys because there is no um, authentication uh, uh, mechanism is defined so if I say connect you see connecting to management interface failed so uh, it is correct uh, the error is valid I mean we have 
to provide the authentication mechanism we have created the cert for our domain and and there is a key as well we have to provide the key as well so simply what I am going to do um, is to provide the domain certificate uh, which is this cloud elegant dot cert I'm going to copy this and put it here okay cert opening and closing and now I'm going to put the key with regard to my uh, self-signed domain let me show you guys dot key okay simply copy this the process is uh, really simple I uh, show you guys to use my script define the parameters and do the settings save it uh, now I have I'm going to remove this um, file from my settings of OpenVPN which I have already imported because it will show file is already there so uh, what I'm going to do is to re-import uh, the file again Le let's see you see import and I'm going to import this file we successfully imported let's try to connect Uh, one thing I need to tell you that it will not ask for the password because uh, it is just like an SSH uh, we have created. You see, we are now correct uh, connected with the Open VPN. And let me show you guys the uh, IP address. IP address of uh, uh, and. Um, IP address of my uh, VPN and IP uh, uh, location as well. So we just confirm that we are connected to the island region. Okay, go and so you see we have connected to island Dublin. So we have successfully connected. Uh, it and uh, with regard to the per user authentication mechanism uh, i recommend to use active directory um, so and uh, that's it uh, guys um, please like and share this video because uh, this is the uh, recent service launched by aws and i think it is very effective to use uh, uh, in your local environment so uh, i don't have to use now any western host uh, I can uh, simply uh, log in uh, into my um, any EC2 instance uh, with Windows or uh, Linux by giving the by giving the private IP addresses and that's it thank you guys have a nice day